trap is an M. Night Shyamalan film for better or for worse. And I don't mean that to come across as disparaging toward M. Night. He truly does seem like a fascinating human being, a really solid person, and he's aware of the movies that he makes. They are full of twists and turns. They normally have something interesting to say about humanity and society, and they're pretty fun. That being said, an M. Night Shyamalan project, you should expect some less than stellar dialogue and some of the twists and some of the turns to not quite land. So at the end of the day, please don't take this critique as any hate directed towards Shyamalan. He really is a legend in this game. Still, that doesn't mean that Trap is a great movie. It really is not. Trap stars Josh Hartnett alongside Ariel Donahue and M. Night's daughter, Salika Shyamalan. Of course, Hartnett is most well known for projects that he did in the early 2000s like Black Hawk Down and 40 Days and 40 Nights, but he more recently had a very strong performance in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Ariel Donahue is a relative newcomer, and M. Night's daughter is essentially playing a version of herself in this film. She is a pop artist playing a pop artist, and interestingly, she wrote and performed all of the music for Trap. I think before we move forward, we have to address the elephant in the room. There's some clear nepotism at play, but I almost respect M. Night for just going out and doing it as blatantly as possible. He's a father who believes in his daughter and wants to give her opportunities to shine. So I don't want to seem like I am taking anything away from Salika. She is talented for sure. She performs well in this film when she's playing the pop star on stage and isn't quite as strong when she's forced to enter these more dramatic moments outside of the concert venue. And the concert venue is where the majority of this film takes place. Essentially, it follows Josh Hartnett's character, who is attending a concert from Lady Raven, played by Salika Shyamalan, and it gives very much this Taylor Swift era's tour vibe, which did admittedly make me chuckle on a few occasions. Just the rabid fan base that we're seeing here in this film. But at this concert, there is an enormous police presence, and I'm going to say something that is a minor spoiler, but it's revealed um, relatively early on in the first act, is that Josh Hartnett, this man, seemingly family man, great father at this concert with his daughter, is actually a serial killer. I know that sounds like a major spoiler, but this is an M. Night Shyamalan film. This first twist is introduced early, and then there are twists and turns throughout the project, so I think that it's important to note in this review. Much of the film is Hartnett trying to escape from this quote-unquote trap. The FBI, the police, all of these law enforcement agencies were alerted of his presence at this concert, and it's one elaborate trap to capture him. We follow him as he tries to figure out how to escape while still watching much of the concert with his daughter. I was with the film for most of this action. I was at least intrigued or interested to see what Hartnett would do and whether or not he would be able to escape the venue. As we move into the third act, though, it really just didn't work for me. And it's going to be this point where either you buy in completely or you kind of back away. The film could have ended three or four times. Again, pretty classic M. Night. 
but there are these kind of minute twists that sometimes have impact and sometimes don't and some are very obvious and don't always add much to the project. All of this to say, if you are a fan of Shyamalan and are okay with his somewhat cheesy approach to suspense and to crafting the plot twists for the audience, then you'll probably enjoy it. But again, it's not his most brilliant work, and you might leave disappointed if you're not a natural fan of the director. Still, I have a ton of respect for this guy. He produced it through his own production company. He has little Easter eggs throughout the film, including a poster of The Watchers in the background of a couple shots, which was directed by his other daughter, great father, father of the year. Shyamalan also has a 10 out of 10 cameo. Again, this is typical of him. He likes to have these cameos in his projects. In this one, though, there is a pretty funny nod to the not-so-subtle nepotism that might be at play with one of the leads in this film being his own daughter, so loved that moment. And the way that he pitched this film to potential funders was Silence of the Lambs at a Taylor Swift concert. So ultimately, there's going to be a lot here to enjoy for some folks, but if you are really looking for top-notch filmmaking with believable characters, with a rock-solid plot, Trap isn't quite there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. You're awesome. You're the best. Like, comment, subscribe. Those things are helpful. Appreciate it. Watch the next one when I put it out. Cheers.